हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू क्विक पोइट्री नॉलेज एंड दिस इज योर होस्टिस मेहजुबीन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू नरेट द समरी ऑफ शेक्सपियर्स सोनेट सिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वीडियो फीचरिंग लाइन बाय लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ सोनेट सिक्स एज मेंशनड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस विलियम शेक्सपियर्स सोनेट सिक्स इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ सोनेट फाइव Please check out my videos on Sonnet Five. You will find them in the playlist. You will understand Sonnet Six better only if you are familiar with the content of Sonnet Five. With that said, let me take you through the summary of William Shakespeare's Sonnet Six. The poet Shakespeare continues his address to the fair youth in Sonnet Six and says that. he should not let the rough hands of winter destroy the treasures that the summer season had bestowed upon him in other words shakespeare says that his male friend should not let his old age destroy the good things like beauty and charm that his youth had blessed him with winter should not damage the core of his handsome features he should make the effort to spread his sweet fragrance into a vessel just as distilled perfume does so otherwise his beauty would be killed by his own hands the exploitation of his handsome features cannot be termed unlawful if the giver allows his treasures to be shared or distributed willingly the friend of the poet should willingly share his life with another only then he would be happy and make others happy as well it is his responsibility to become the parent of a child who looks as beautiful as the father in fact he would be 10 times happier if he can father 10 children who inherit his good looks In such a situation death would not be able to defeat him when he is no longer alive for he would be survived by his 10 children who by that time would themselves have sired 10 more children each The fair youth would continue to live in this world through the bodies of his children and grandchildren Although dead he would still be alive and his beauty would still be preserved the poet advises his male friend against becoming stubborn after all he is too handsome a man to allow debt to wipe away his beauty from this world forever and if debt succeeds in doing that only worms would inherit his grave instead of precious children inheriting his good looks and continuing to live in this world long after their handsome father is no more well that's all for today consider subscribing to this channel if you like content related to poetry analysis i'll meet you again very soon bye